Welcome YouTubers, I'm Kevin, and as we all have an issue, we search the internet. That's what I did. I had a chip on my stove, I want to see how to repair it. Very simple. But most of them show the whole process except the end. And you're left with a uh, more or less a unfinished roughness on the stove. So I'm going to make a video here to show you how to repair a chip on a stove, which is enamel, but have it with a smooth surface and show you the, the steps I went through. So here we go. Okay, here's my chip on the stove. As you can see right here and there, this one's fairly deep and this one isn't. So what we're going to do is actually use the paint, which is almost like a touch-up paint. It's very small. I picked up one from Lowe's. And I like this one because it has, right on the very top here, a pen which you use to more or less feather down the uh, rough ridges. And then it also has a paste for paint. Now inside of this, once you unscrew it, it has a soft paintbrush, which we're going to use to repair the uh, chip here. Okay, so here's the uh, pen. As you can tell, the top has a uh, rough surface, so that's what you do to feather the ridges. When you take the top off here, it has a precise pen, so you can actually do small little repairs. And then if you unscrew the whole thing, sorry, I had to go off camera to uh, unscrew it. So once you unscrew it, it has a little pen and at the very end a brush which you use to paint. You take the pen and very lightly just rub the edges. That will make it nice and feathered and rough for the other paint to adhere. Once you have what you like to feel in other words, no ridges. Then you're ready to wipe it down with a damp cloth and then wipe it again with a dry cloth and let it dry for about 15, about 15 minutes until you think it's dry, make sure it's dry before you apply the paint. So now we're ready to actually put some paint on it. So shake it up, make sure it's nice and shook. Then you can take the pen here and just do a little dab. You press on it and it'll, the paint will come out eventually. And this is for very small type of cracks. There we go. Then use, don't touch it and just smooth it out. And do the same thing over here. So you can actually, if you want, do some nice little thin coats. Make sure it touches the, the edges. As you can tell, you can still see the paint and the metal behind it. So you want to apply thin coats, and this is my first coat. So let it dry for about, they say on here, about 30 minutes, and then apply the paint again and keep repeating until you get it nice and smooth the way you want it. Okay, this is our second coat. Uh, I'm going to use 320 sandpaper, dry. And all you want to do is just take the corner, just lightly sand, hardly touching it, the paint. You can feel that it's not smooth yet, so put this aside. I'm going to wipe it off. And do another application. You keep doing this until it completely fills up. Just 
Just take your time. Eventually, everything will be filled up. And you'll have a perfect fix. There we go. That's the second coat. Now I like to use the pen, which you've seen what I did here, to apply very thin layers. If you turn around and use the brush, you're, you're not restricted to anything other than what's on the brush. So you can put a lot on, or you can put um, hardly anything on. So I believe the pen is an easier way and method to cover up these very uh, with thin layers than the actual paintbrush. So let's see how it turns out. This is the final product. It's right here, you can hardly see it. And it has about five coats, sanded, painted. What was nice and what I did find out is if you made a mistake, simply put the paint on it and then wipe it off and you're starting from scratch again. So let me just zoom in and you can actually see what it looks like up close. And it's right there. You can hardly see it. So once again, this is Kevin and I hope you enjoyed the video.